Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Ryan and today I'm going to talk about what is deductible to your business. And I'm sure you already know, and this obviously is for business owners only, and you already know about a lot of things that are deductible, but I'm going to talk about the things that may be ambiguous or you're not sure, but there are things that I get asked a lot. So I wanted to cover these things to hopefully bring some clarity on them. Now, before we get started, I wanted to define what is a business expense according to the IRS. The IRS defines a business expense as something that is ordinary and necessary to the operations of your business. So, you know, that's a very broad definition. And that also means that, you know, some expenses or some things might be deductible to your business in one industry and not so much in another industry. And we'll talk about that later. But first, these are the things that we're gonna talk about today, all right? So just to give you a brief summary of the topics. First are firearms, then alcohol, sports tickets, a round of golf, travel, clothes, haircuts, and car washes. So let's start with firearms, since firearms seems to be like a hot topic for business owners and you know just in general. So are firearms deductible to your business? Well, let's go back to the IRS definition of is it ordinary and necessary? If you run an accounting firm, if you own a restaurant, uh, even a doctor's office, would you say that you need a, you need a firearm as a business expense? Um, your, your, argument, or your argument might be is that, you know, if you work at an accounting firm, you know, in an office building, you might be subject to like a mass shooting or something and you have to defend yourself. Well, that's not really an ordinary and necessary thing that would, you know, that your business needs to operate. Okay, mass shootings are already rare enough and to have it happen to your business in the, in the sense that you need to then uh, have a firearm to defend your business in order for it to operate, that's just not necessary. Same with restaurants, same with uh, uh, doctor's offices. Um, pawn shops might be like, you know, you might have more of a justification there, but you still have to get past the burden of proof with the IRS that is ordinary and necessary to your business. Now you might say like, you know, a pawn shop might be more likely to get robbed uh, at gunpoint than an accounting firm, right? Yeah, well that might be true, but is the firearm necessary? Is it gonna, are you, are you still gonna get robbed, right? You might still get robbed, you might still be uh, under uh, pressure to give up the cash that you have on hand or the inventory. Um, a firearm is not gonna prevent that. You might, sure, you might wanna, if you feel brave, you might pull your firearm on the perpetrator, but then you might get shot. So. You know, in this case, I would say for most instances, firearms are not deductible. Now, if you're in a, you know, if you have a security company or, you know, gun shop, obviously those things are more, you know, those industries, you know, a security company, it's more ordinary and necessary to have a firearm. All right, the next thing is alcohol. Is alcohol deductible? And for the most part, I would say it is, you know, especially if you're using it to kind of meet with clients, uh, service your clients, kind of give them a good experience when they're in your, in your shop, in your space, in your office. Uh, alcohol is generally accepted as an ordinary necessary business deduction. And especially if you take clients or colleagues out to uh, lunch or dinner and you have some drinks there, uh, that is definitely okay. However, one thing to note is you'd want to keep it under excessive. You don't want to be uh, extravagant with the alcohol, you know, like bottle service at the club or something. That's not going to be uh, ordinary and necessary, but maybe a drink or two with dinner or with lunch, that is fine. Or breakfast, you know, if you're feeling, if you're feeling a, little, a little risky there. All right, round of golf is the next one. Round of golf, I get asked a lot. And, you know, back in 2018, the IRS nerfed the entertainment deduction. So golfing is no longer really a deductible expense because it's considered entertainment. So unfortunately, there's not really many ways I can see getting around that, you know, unless of course you own like a golf shop or, you know, you, you make golf clubs or something, but uh, from ordinary people, business people, you know, people in finance, accounting, doctors, any other industries, uh, taking your colleagues out for a round of golf is actually not a deductible expense. Travel is questionable as well, but generally travel is accepted as a business expense as long as it's necessary for your business. So like usually travel comes with like, you know, you gotta travel somewhere to meet with a client on site 
or you need to travel to a convention to participate in the convention for your business. Those kinds of things are deductible and generally accepted. Uh, traveling to Europe uh, for three weeks for your business for whatever reason, I don't know. If you have a legitimate reason, again, it's, it's totally fine. If it's dicey, then the burden of proof will have to be upon you to prove to the IRS that that was a necessary expense. Clothing is a next good topic that I get asked a lot, you know, like, especially by realtors. Realtors and attorneys who say, oh, they need nice clothes to present themselves well to their clients. That, that's why it's ordinary and necessary. Well, that might be true, but with, in the IRS's definition, you can do your job with a t-shirt and basketball shorts, I'm sure. Though probably frowned upon, but clothing is actually a personal accessory, it's a personal item because if you buy like a shirt like I'm wearing now, you can wear it for business and you can use it personally too. It's not like a, it's not like a just a business shirt. And you know, you can't kid yourself and you tell the IRS, hey, I bought the shirt only for work. I only use it for work. You know, when I go to the bathroom, I take it off. <laughs> when I come back from the bathroom, I put it back on. No, it's, it's not, uh, clothing generally is not accepted as a business expense. The only time it is accepted usually is if it's branded with your logos on it or, uh, and that's, that's considered uniforms, you know, things that are necessary for work. Like if you're a doctor, then scrubs are necessary, you know, gloves, maybe like protective shoes, those things that are uniform like or have branded uh, logos on it are deductible for work and for your business. Another thing I get asked about by realtors are haircuts and uh, pedicures and manicures. So those are both, or all three of those are personal expenses. I don't see many industries where that is allowed as a business expense, you know, especially if you're a realtor, that's, you don't need a haircut to do your job. That's a personal expense. And you are, when you get a haircut that is used both personally and business wise. Okay. If you were a model or you worked in film or you're an actor, then I can probably see how that would be ordinary and necessary, but as a realtor, where your job doesn't depend on your hairstyle or the color of your nails, that is not doable, unfortunately. Back on entertainment, how about sporting event tickets? You know, like the basketball game or the football game, the NFL game. Can you, can you uh, take your clients to the football game and write it off as a deduction? Uh, the general, generally, probably not, all right? So, because these, this falls under entertainment, so entertainment expenses are no longer tax deductible on uh, the business tax returns. But there are some exceptions here, okay? If you take a client to a, an NFL game, the food and drinks that you buy within that game can be deductible, all right? And generally, you know, general tickets where you're all facing like the, the stage or you're facing the field or the court, those are not typically deductible because that's an entertainment type of, uh, type of event. However, if you were to rent a, like a, what do you call it? Like if you were to rent a box and had a bunch of your clients come and network or a bunch of your colleagues come and network, uh, you know, other business uh, titans in the industry, if you will, come and network in your box during the game, that is actually deductible because that's more of a networking event and networking type of event rather than an entertainment event. So. It's funny, the more money you spend, the more likely it's deductible in this case. You know, not in all cases, but in this case it is. So uh, rent out of the box, throw an event, that's deductible. Take a client to a game, they have seats that just face the court or the field, that's not deductible. However, the food and alcohol that you buy while you're there probably is deductible. All right, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is a car wash. And again, realtors, man, you guys, you guys are just trying to bend bend the rules as much as possible, aren't you? So car washes, you know, they say because you want to make, have a good image, a good impression for your clients when you, when you drive them to, to see their houses. And, you know, car washes also are a personal expense. You can take your clients in a raggedy ass car just fine, although they might not be as pleased, but they will still, you can still do business that way, okay? And car washes are just, you know, you can't use that just for business. That's, you know, once you're done with the day, your car is clean and you're going to Walmart or whatever 
uh, that's still a personal use of the car wash. So thanks for watching this. Hope this clears some things up for all y'all. If you have any other questions on what's deductible or what may not be deductible, leave them in the comments below. And of course, with all things, there's always exceptions, there's always nuances. So, you know, with the car wash, if you own a car rental company, then the car washes will likely be deductible. Sometimes it's industry specific. There are things that are generally accepted as deductible for most businesses, but some of these more nuanced things, like a haircut, manicure, pedicure, car wash, those things may be more industry specific uh, before they're considered deductible. So. Uh, leave me a comment below if you have any questions, give me a like, a subscribe, I really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all next week. Have a good long Labor Day weekend.